breaking a lot of spokes. And um, we had to replace a couple of them. And most of the other ones that were still in the wheel had been over tightened. So I started testing everything and it turned out that most of the spokes were like way too tight. Um, <coughs> like many pounds over the pressure that they should be at. Um, so now we're basically re-tensioning uh, the whole wheel so that um, Philippe hopefully will not break any more spokes. That's, that's the plan. Anyway. But we also don't have a truing stand, um, which is very helpful <laughs> to, to do what I'm doing right now. So I'm kind of doing it ghetto style. Uh, but the problem is that we're either going to have um, a little bit of hop to the wheel, which means it's going to be out of round. Um, as you can see, like if I hold my fingers to it, sometimes comes up and bumps them, you know? Um, that's because the, the tension on the spokes is pulling too much in one place and not enough in another. But uh, on, it, if, if I if put something here? Uh, um, yeah, maybe. That, that might. Um, if we could get, you know what, a piece of chalk might be the way to go. Um, Maybe you could get a piece of chalk out of yeah, Matt's van, and that way, you know, when it hits... All the weight is... You right. see? Yeah. The weight is there. You, you can see, so just... I uh, know oh, they have this. Maybe... Uh, uh, oh, 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 yeah. Nah, that's... If, um, get, get it when... Get some chalk, and what we'll do is I'll we'll spin it, and it'll bring it close and see where it hits.